and get another boat project. I'm gonna make a set of boat guides here to go on the trailer um, that stick up nice and high because the problem that I have is, especially you know later in the evening or early in the morning when it's dark, um, when the boat is off the trailer, it's hard, you can't see the trailer at all when you back down into a ramp um, to load the boat back on, you can't see the trailer at all because there's nothing on there. When the boat's on there, it's fine. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is, um, it has these little bunks on the side, and I'm gonna build two pieces that come up and stick up just a little bit above the boat, maybe like this high. Um, and we're gonna make it out of PVC, and then I'm also gonna put a marker light on the top of it. Uh, my trailer has marker bulbs all the way around it here. Up there, there's one. Um, so you can kind of see the, you know, the farther out points of the boat. Um, and I'm gonna put one up top so when I'm going to launch it and stuff, I can see the top of the boat. Just kind of be a little cool, little addition there. So j don't buy the kits that they make because they're just way too much money. They're like 200 bucks. And this right here is a super cheap mod. I'm gonna link everything that I can in the description. Most of which you can just get at your local hardware store, but all you really need is a good length of PVC pipe. I'm going with, with a two inch PVC. This is a 10 foot piece and this should be more than enough um, to use what I wanted. And um, I've got some PVC cement because my other stuff had dried up. I also bought a couple different angle pieces. I bought 45s. 22 and a half degree or something like that because I don't know I'm gonna have to put a bend in the pipe and I wasn't sure which one I'm gonna use so You know, it's, it's all gonna depend on your boat how far it sticks out the angles and everything because I'm gonna mount it to this It's gonna go out curve in and then go straight up. Hopefully that's the plan um, The other piece that we needed and I went all the place trying to find these turns out Home Depot had them is a flat cover like this for the top of the pipe to sit on so our light can be recessed down in there and uh, it'll just make a, a lot better fit because what I had from another project were these and you can see the top is kind of curved and our light isn't really going to sit down in there. We're going to add these marker bulbs. You can pick these up at your local auto store I assume. Um, I'll link some in the description below but the thing you really want to make sure is waterproof, you know, sealed, things like that or a marine grade because they're going to get wet being on top of the trailer. They're not going to go underwater, hopefully, because they're going to be tall enough, but they will uh, they will get wet, so make sure you get those. Uh, the other thing that I got to attach this to the boat is just stainless steel stainless steel bolts. I got four inch, uh, three and a half inch stainless steel bolts to go through my two inch PVC plus the thickness of this. I'm basically just going to hold this up here and try to get the angle of this footboard and mark it with my sharpie here. And so we can cut the right angle and get that to sit nice and flush on that footboard. So you can see I just marked that angle there. And I'm using my, uh, my chop saw out here so we can cut different angles. You can see that sits nice and flush now. A lot, of, a lot more contact on this plate that way so thinking probably somewhere down in here we'll have to cut this put the elbow on come up straight so it's a few inches away from the side of the boat so let me frig with that a little bit see if we can figure that out well that actually worked pretty good that's almost about the height that I was thinking um, so I cut this piece to 16 inches and then I don't even know what size this was it's just a piece I had left over that actually fit perfect on there So let's go ahead and drill a hole in this Flat PVC cap here. Let's rip a hole in this thing dead nut center Or at least try to Put our light in there and just test fit this so you can see this light actually has like a hex head on it, so I'm going to put a, a wrench on here and just kind of work it back and forth until it seats down nice and tight up against that PVC, just like that. Nice waterproof, should be pretty much waterproof fit there. You can tell that this is a uh, waterproof fitting in there, it's got like epoxy in there just to keep water out and stuff. So. Should be good to get with that. All 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do before I get all of this, uh, you know, put together, is I'm gonna run the wiring. I'm going to wire up the light on the top of my piece up here. Make sure I got enough wire, and I'm actually gonna tie into this marker light right here. I'm gonna run it along the frame and back. Uh, I don't really wanna mess with the tail light just because I don't want tail light issues if it ever gets wet and damaged. I want my tail lights to at least work. The marker bulbs, whatever care about that should be able to tie into that fine so we'll have one line that goes to the power um, from here and then another line that just grounds out on the trailer uh, we'll just hook like a ring ring terminal on there and should be good to go so let me uh, get some wire out here also I'm gonna link these pliers in the description below because these are so awesome they cut the wire for you and everything and strip it back so you don't have to you know use the, the stripper and end up gouging into the wire so just like that it strips the end for you. I'm also going to link this kit right here, which has a whole bunch of waterproof connectors in there. I got this on Amazon too. Um, it's a heat shrink and solder whoa, kit. So it comes with a whole bunch of different sizes, but you can see, let me pull this bigger one out here. It's got some solder in the middle. So you heat that up, the solder will melt, and the shrink tubing will shrink to the wires and then you'll have a nice waterproof connection there. All right, so I got the connections on there. And now I'm just going to run the wires down through the tube here. I'm having the wires come out the side of this so I can have this sit flush on the bottom of the trailer and not pinch the wires. And I'm actually going to run some of this uh corrugated sheathing uh along this and into that hole a little ways just to kind of protect the wiring. So uh just to Sort of an afterthought, but I just did that. So now we're gonna try to mount this thing up. Now I'm just working this uh, my wires into this sheathing here. It'll protect them a little bit. All right, so you can probably see right here. I took a pencil and marked uh, the the right angle of how I'm gonna glue that on there. So I'm gonna pop this off now. Careful of my wires. Put some glue on the outside of this. This is just gonna keep it from like rattling off Get down and twist I am not gonna glue the cap because that's how it's gonna be you know any type of maintenance I have to do on it or if I need to replace this light I can just pop the cap right off this thing's pretty solid it's moving the whole bunk when I move that so pretty happy with that now we just gotta figure out this wiring and we should be all set all right, so I just brought the truck in to test this out, make sure the light worked, and it does. We'll get a better shot of this at night. You see really how bright that little LED is up there, but I just tied it into this marker bulb here. I still gotta clean it up. I was just kind of testing it out, but yeah, we just cut the power to this, spliced in that light, and hooked in the, um, the new ground with the whole ground. Pretty simple. Get her all together see the lights are on it's working Let's see if we can adjust this a little bit here we go there you can see there when we go to launch this thing or actually bring it back to the trailer if it's dark either in the morning or at night after the sun's gone down we can see the trailer when we're backing it down into the ramp there, so. Worked out really good. It's got uh, probably about an inch and a half on each side if it's sitting square on the trailer. This side right now is just about touching, but it's because the boat is this way on the trailer some, so pretty sweet. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a fun little project to do. I've been wanting to do this for a couple of years now. We finally got it done, so uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna link everything that I can down in the description below for all the stuff that I use to build these with. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Hit the thumbs up button, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.